we welcome you to our Wednesday Teze Tenebrae service. The name Tenebrae is the Latin word for darkness and shadows. The word Teze comes from the French community of that name and this prayerful music which originated there. Tonight, as we listen to the readings, we will experience a, only a small portion of Christ's pain and suffering on the day of his crucifixion. One of the features of the service is the gradual extinguishing of the Teze candles until only a single candle remains, the Christ candle, which is a symbol of our Lord. As it gets darker and darker, we can reflect on the great emotional and physical pain that was very real to Jesus that evening. The Christ candle is then hidden, symbolizing the apparent victory of the forces of evil over good. The strepitus, the loud, harsh noise that follows, echoes several scriptural sounds. The final cries of Jesus, the earthquake at his death, Matthew 27, 45 through 54, the shutting of his tomb and the second earthquake at his rising, Matthew 28, verse two. The hidden Christ candle is then restored to its place, symbolizing the resurrection and the triumph of good over evil. Light and peace in Jesus Christ, our Savior. Thanks, Thanks be, to God. be to God. Blessed be God who forgives all our sins. God's mercy, God's mercy endures, endures forever. forever. God be with you. And also, also with, with you. you. Let us allow a moment for silent prayer. Almighty and most merciful God, kindle within us the fire of love that by its cleansing flame we may be purged of all our sins and made worthy to worship you in spirit and in truth. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
went to a place called Gethsemane. And Jesus said to his disciples, sit here while I pray. He took Peter, James, and John along with him. And he began, began to be deeply, deeply distressed and troubled. My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death, he said to them. Stay here and keep watch. Going a little farther, he fell to the ground and prayed that, if possible, the hour might pass from him. Abba, Father, he said, everything is possible for you. Take this cup from me, yet what I will, yet not what I will, but what you will. Then he returned to his disciples and found them sleeping. Simon, he said to Peter, are you asleep? Couldn't you keep watch for one hour? 
Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Once more, he went away and prayed the same thing. When he came back, he again found them sleeping because their eyes were heavy. They did not know what to say to him. Returning the third time, he said to them, are you still sleeping and resting? Enough, the hour has come. Look, the son of man is delivered into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us go. Here comes my betrayer. Just as he was speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, appeared. With him was a crowd armed with swords and clubs, sent from the chief priest, the teachers of the law, and the elders. Now the betrayer had arranged a signal with them. The one I kiss is the man. Arrest him and lead him away under guard. Going at once to Jesus, Judas said, Rabbi, and kissed him. The men seized Jesus and arrested him. Then one of those standing near drew his sword and struck the servant of the high priest, cutting off his ear. Am I leading a rebellion, said Jesus, that you have come out with swords and clubs to capture me? Every day I was with you, teaching in the temple courts, and you did not arrest me. But the scriptures must be fulfilled. Then everyone deserted him and fled. below in the courtyard, one of the servant girls of the high priest came by. When she saw Peter warming himself, she looked closely at him. You also were with that Nazarene Jesus, she said, but he denied it. I don't know or understand what you're talking about, he said, and went out into the entryway. When the servant girl saw him there, she said again to those standing around, this fellow is one of them. Again, he denied it. After a little while, those standing near said to Peter, surely you are one of them, 
for you are a Galilean. He began to call down curses and he swore to them, I don't know this man you're talking about. Immediately the rooster crowed the second time. Then Peter remembered the word Jesus had spoken to him. Before the rooster crows twice, you will disown me three times. And he broke down and wept. What is the truth? Pilate then went back inside the palace, summoned Jesus and asked him, are you the king of the Jews? Is that your own idea, Jesus asked, or did others talk to you about me? Am I a Jew, Pilate replied? Your own people and chief priests handed you over to me. What is it you have done? Jesus said, my kingdom is not of this world. If it were, my servants would fight to prevent my arrest by the Jewish leaders. But now my kingdom is from another place. You are a king then, said Pilate. Jesus answered, you say that I am a king. In fact, the reason I was born and came into the world is to testify to the truth. Everyone on the side of truth listens to me. What is truth, retorted Pilate. And the soldiers led him into the courtyard of the palace, that is the governor's headquarters, and they called together the whole cohort. And they clothed him in a purple cloak, and after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on him. And they began saluting him, Hail, King of the Jews! They struck his head with a reed, spat upon him, and knelt down in homage to him. After mocking him, they stripped him of the purple cloak and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him out to crucify him. Yes. 
Let us pray. Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, in the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. 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 Jesus Christ, and we bless your holy name. Truly, your cross and passion bring us life and healing. Truly, your cross and passion. Life and healing. We adore you, Jesus Christ, and we bless your holy name. Truly, your cross and passion bring us life and healing. and passion bring us life and healing. We adore you, Jesus Christ, and we bless you. Most gracious God, look with mercy upon your family gathered here, for whom our Savior Jesus Christ was betrayed, given into sinful hands, 
and suffered death upon the cross. Strengthen our faith and forgive our betrayals as we enter the way of Christ's passion. Through Christ who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. <laughs>